but so today I wanted to just kind of test run. I said I was going to do it this year. So not only will I just do Facebook lives, I'm going to do Instagram lives um, for the jewelry as well. And then also try to figure out how to use Snapchat for it as well. So I am trying to just figure that out. So I got up this morning. I made breakfast. Um, I'm going to put some earrings on. I'm going to put a little bit of lip on. Um, just to be presentable enough. I have on, well, um, one of the sale shirts. I don't, I think I only have one of these left, but one of the shirts that I have for sale, um, on the website, amorechic.com. And so just as far as being on the right page, moving into doing all of the things that I said I was going to do for 2018, um, I want to do that. This morning I had a little bit of a hiccup, I think emotionally, because I just kind of, I'm in thinking about how to renovate the house and, working with a limited budget, um, and just like figuring all of the things out. I got a little overwhelmed, um, because I'm doing it myself and you know, you start to feel lonely and just crazy. So I had like a bit of a moment. So I wanted to go on at 12 o'clock. Um, and I'm just not, so I'm trying to reorganize the board now so that I could um so that I can present the jewelry in an organized fashion because even with clothes and styling your wardrobe and stuff jewelry is exactly the same way so I'm getting ready to redo the board and I just thought I would take you with me um just throughout the day just to see what working what a working entrepreneur really looks like um well not even so much really looks like but what a day in the life of a working entrepreneur looks like um who has a day off a snow day off um home with the kids and just trying to get it all done so I thought it would be fun to film and just kind of walk you through the process and not just not just it always be about going, 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 because that is not what life is about. So anyway, um, I also want to say this. So I know I showed this before, but if you, this here is a really great product. So this is called the Miracle Boost Concentrate. And so I have been putting this under my Kiehl's Moisturizer. Um, I have the, which one do I have? I'm almost out of it too. So I use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream Intense Hydration for drier skin types. And sometimes I even still, it's not, it's just not enough. Um, but I love Kiehl's products. So I put that Boost Concentrate. I've already used, I think almost half that bottle in a week and a half. So it's a little expensive for the amount that you get in that bottle. Um, but anyway so i put that on under this right now or whatever moisturizer i'm deciding to use and this week it's just been that but i'm definitely giving it a thumbs up my skin feels better it feels it doesn't feel dry at all so thumbs up for that i just wanted to make sure i mentioned that so all right we're gonna get started i'm gonna put some lotion on my hands i really need to put a top coat on my manicure because it's starting to chip away but we don't have time right now so Let's do that. We're gonna got a kind of busy day and just trying to get things done um, that I wanted to kind of walk you through, even down to like putting together blog, a blog post using um, Photoshop. So we shall see. All right, let's get started, guys. Also sprayed my oh, the lighting is so weird, but I also sprayed my YSL Montpourri. Smells so good when you put on jewelry. You need to spray your perfume like 20 minutes before so that it sets in your skin and it does not fight against the jewelry that you have on. Just a tip. Make sure you do that, especially if you're wearing costume jewelry and it won't turn it as well. But you just shouldn't do that for jewelry anyway. I'm trying to figure out what necklaces I want to stack. All right, let's go do this.
King James. Which one you got? Let me say. Oh, that's the woman's Bible. No, you got King James. I have that Bible right there. Do you think? I know this is not mine. I don't know whose Bible this is. This what Bible is this? It says King James right there at the bottom. All right, so this is what the um, board looks like right now. So I put a little bit of color here, um, all the bling stuff here. I'm gonna put one more thing here, like all of the silver here. Predominantly, this is one of my favorite necklaces, but it's mostly silver. The bronze stuff went here, and then all of the gold went here, but this is bronze. So I'm gonna move these two on the other side. All right, I'm getting ready to start my first Instagram Live. The board is done. I'm just going to start working. Wish me luck. Hopefully we have it. Hey, guys. So, welcome to 2018. This is um, Amore Chic's first online live accessory show. I am Love Davis. I am the creative director here at AmoreChic.com. I am sitting here in my living room and... I wanted to take something that I do over on Facebook Live um, and bring it over here on Instagram for 2018. So, yeah. So let me tell you a little bit about what's happening. I need you more. really uh tritone is it tritone it is silver gold and kind of no actually it's just two-tone it's bitone so it is a kind of two-tone uh silver and gold bracelet and so i only have uh one of these i thought i had two of these but we sold one i have one of these the item number for this is number one so if you like this this is five dollars so if you like this, you're going to comment number one in heart. It was. So now I am going to write a blog post. Um, and actually this one's going to be an easy one because I'm not going to edit the video. I mean, I'm not going to edit the pictures and then put like um, word captions next to it. I'm just going to um, just do pictures and like words under it. So this one's going to be an easier blog post. But if you haven't noticed, people have stepped up their blogs and a lot of their images and words and stuff are set in, um, Photoshop. So like that again, takes a really long time to do, um, hours to put together blog posts. And so that is what it looks like. So again, it's just not that easy. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to plan out, um, a video, a meal video to cook, um, and re record next, um, week and um to put on my lifestyle channel which is going to be the main channel um and edit and put up the first lifestyle um, video that goes up this week anyway so i'm trying to figure out if i'm uploading on fridays or if i'm uploading on sundays i think i'm going to upload every friday so that i can do the content on sundays and that way still have a few days to put together and do the edit so that is exactly what i'm getting ready to do and um see you guys later so, my house is cold. And I'm going to attempt to put this plastic over the window. It's always something. It says do it with the hair dryer. Let's see. It's hot for the weekend.
of course I blew a fuse. Because, oh shit, I need my light on my phone because I live in an old house. And, I don't know why I'm talking so slow today. So I live in an old house. <laughs> and these are my old problems. Oh, you know what, while I'm down here too, let me put a load of clothes in the washing machine. Like there is so much happening in my life right now. So much, sorry. So much happening in my life right now. That. No, let me uh, let's try to get this fuse on. All right. Uh, let's see. Second floor is. I think it's nine, eleven, and thirteen. What's nine? Nine is second floor. Nine is second floor. And then what is, it's nine, 13 and another number. Let me see. Three. Oh, three. So I'll probably reset the kids' stuff. Oh, no, it's not, because I just reset the shit down here. Let me see. Second floor lights are three. Second floor lights are nine. Thirteen. <sighs> do I have clothes in the dryer? I sure do. You know what? I feel like, first of all, let me put a clothes. Let me let me be productive because I'm getting ready to go down. Let's do a load of darks or whites. Darks. So cold, cold. All right, let's wash a load of clothes. Sorry, my basement looks scary. It is my life. My life is scary. I need to pray. And that's the truth. Because my mental state is not right. I feel like there are a lot of things against me right now. Like I'm not going to have. So one of the things that's bothering me is that it looks like I might not have enough money to get everything done in my house. So of course because I've got big dreams and want big things and so I just feel like I'm trapped in a box sometimes I really really do um and as much as I you know force myself not even force myself I, I naturally have a positive attitude I'm just a little overwhelmed and stressed right now and I'm pushing through it so us vlogging together is me pushing through so that you can see the breakthrough because I promise if you don't have a testimony you don't have a you don't have, I guess, a test that you've been through. But the thing about it is the story that you, that you have when you come out. And boy, I'm about to have the biggest, greatest stories. Because this stress right now. Mm, because I just don't know how to. So I, one of, here's one of the things. Let's just have a small two-minute conversation. One of the things uh, is that when you're single, you're in your 40s. And things start to look a little scary like that's the bottom line and so it's hard to try to like figure out what kind of like substantial changes you want to make that affect everybody because you really are thinking about several things number one is that you don't want to retire you know what I mean by yourself so it'd be nice if you had someone to plan with but you don't or well, I don't um not right now and so it's just like Life would be so much easier if I had a partner, but not just a partner to just pay the bills, like a life partner, like not somebody that we settle for 
and deal with a whole lot of things with like a really good like life partner and so I thought I had a life partner we were kind of stuck in a rut and that's the worst place to be as well um he made uh, a decision for his life which you know you can't be mad about he made a decision for his life and so you know now it's like okay love you got to make a decision for your life what the hell just fell over don't you hate when clothes and socks and shit fall in places that you don't want to put your hands what what is where did it go like the fact that i have my son's pot in this basement is still a testimonial that i need to clean my goddamn house and throw shit out like this bag right here all of this needs to go out all three of these things have gone out this weekend I don't know what fell hopefully it's not my new underwear anyway so I just wanted to share that with you and say that sometimes the game changes and when it when it changes for one it doesn't change for the others and the other one is forced per se me to kind of sit still be patient that is the hardest thing in the world if anybody ever tells you anything other than patience is the hardest thing to learn they are a lie so going through all of this stuff with my house falling apart, trying to get my business together, trying to be a mother, a working entrepreneur, it's just a lot. Um, and so some days I hit a wall. Today would be one of them. Did I? Hold on. Did I put the Tide part in here? See what I mean? So today would be one of those days. But... I can't tell if I put a Tide Pod in here. Oh, yes, I did. Today will be one of those days. Um, but I'm working. You know, I have so many things to be thankful for. I do have a house, even though it's slowly falling apart. It needs so much TLC. Um, it is not my ideal. And so, yeah. You know, things are slow. Business is slow. Sometimes you kind of want to give up. You don't give up. You keep pushing forward because it's your happy place. So, you know, that's hard. Like, it's just hard to keep going when the chips feel like they're stacked against you. And that's it. And that's all I have to say about that. I'm probably going to need a mommy cocktail in a minute. But I know I need to get my electricity done because whenever I have two things plugged up, like my house heater um, and my uh, hair dryer, something goes down. So that is what happened. But uh, at least I was forced to come down in the basement and put a load of clothes in. All right. Oh, it's cold down there. So it is time to finish trying to seal up my window and the one in the hallway. This is the roof vent so that some of this cold, windy air can stay out. Other than that, back to work. I'll see you guys in a minute. I have it. I'm trying to just make sure my lighting I'm sitting on the pillow, yep. Cold in the butt. Hmm? I say get cold in the butt. No, I was just thinking, hopefully I got on enough lipstick, but I probably don't. But that's okay. Huh? Can you see yourself in the Nope. I think we have enough on. You think I have enough on? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you think I have enough on, Grandma. Is that done? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to do live. Hi, Miss. You got my tree. Thank you. Hi, Miss Sandy. Hi, Merry Sandy. Christmas. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. He must disappear. He must disappear. I saw the stars within your eyes a year ago. And the sight won't leave. Just a smile and I am down below. Hey, 
me. So when someone orders the jewelry, I create an invoice. Um, I send it to their email or to their phone. They pay it with their credit card. The money goes to my account. And then I ship their merchandise out. Oh. Well, how you know when it be in there? When it's going to be in what? The money. Be in your account. It, sh it comes up on my phone. It says, oh. it says blank person sent you some money. Some amount of money. Mm-hmm, a certain amount of money. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, so I have finished doing... So they don't pay for it? Yes, they will have paid for it, yes. I'll send them an invoice. I have to sit down and do the invoices. Sometimes that takes a while. It takes me like a day, so tomorrow I'll do invoices for everybody that ordered stuff today. Been ordered today? Who you talking to in New York? Huh? Who you talking to in New York? No, I, what you mean? Tonight, who you was on? Whoever was on my on my live. Right. Whoever was there. Oh, okay. Oh, that you was calling their name after you know you People's know names, yeah, because I, mm. I just call them by their name. Some of them I know. Some friends I know. Some people mm. don't. All right, so I am wrapping up. This is... <clears throat> to school tomorrow. Uh, it doesn't look like it's school tomorrow, no. So these, this is the remnants of two live shows today. I did my first Instagram show, which I took you on yesterday. I put you on my, um, I mean, that I showed you early in the video. Then I just did my live show at night. And... You okay? Yeah, I'm good. So... I'm gonna go back to editing some pages for the chic style book um, for February which is the first one that's coming out and then I will sort through all of this stuff and I have to place an order at midnight which you heard me say um, and that's yeah the work is just gonna keep going until I pass out good night Oh, where mommy put coconut? Oh, hand me that coconut oil for a second, please. I got it. It's in the bait. It's in the bottom of the. It's it's in the bathroom at the bottom. In the drawer. <laughs> Everything is such a drama when the kids are home. Well, grandma come to sleep with you. Grandma ain't coming here to sleep with me. What? <laughs> so, what I know is that this vlog is all over the place, <laughs> but. I did get some things done. Um, it might not seem like it. First of all, I did not turn the camera on for like half the day, but I did two lives. I did Instagram live. I did my Facebook live tonight, even though I do it on Wednesdays. Um, last night was so hectic. I couldn't get it done. I also, my son and I are having terrible like dry skin. So I went and got some coconut oil. Um... Um, oh, I was looking at the expiration date. It lasts for two years exactly. But I did go get some coconut oil to try and combat like this really dry skin that we're having. I'm not even sure, but I know I keep reading about like coconut oil everywhere. Um, it is what time is it? I don't even know what time it is, but I want to say it's like 9:30. My son is supposed to be going to bed. He is running around the house. My grandmother is keeping everyone up. I was able to seal two of the five windows that I need done. So I can seal two places. I'll get up tomorrow morning and do the rest of them. Just being lazy. Um, but I was trying to. So let me say this. I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end the night here. So I have been wanting to do an online magazine. For like five six seven eight nine ten years like i've always wanted to do an online magazine in 2018 i said i would be intentional those have been my words so i have i'm very intentional on putting a face behind the brand which is me um and just all the things that i said i was going to do so the lookbook is five dollars a month like it's just a monthly subscription of five dollars a month i'm going to record um videos and um, which you know how to's look books like all of that like so it's going to be a very interactive book it's not just going to be something for you to read but it's not going to be like huge so I 
did not realize that I would subscribe to someone else who does the same thing. She does a lot of lookbooks on YouTube. Um, and so she does this as well. And I was looking at hers and I'm like, oh my God, this is so like just thrown together. But for her, she feels like she's doing a really great job. But I like her trend kind of report or whatever. So I was like, okay. So this today, what happens is you got to go through lots and lots and lots of images and then categorize them into trends that you want to put together. And so, good night, Juwan for the 15th time he's so sleepy he won't go to bed but you have to categorize them into trends that you think are relevant and important to your target audience so I'm not gonna jump on every trend um, but today literally I spent two hours just categorizing images from out of my phone and off of my computer so of course I wasn't gonna vlog that but like that took two hours I literally only put together one page in the lookbook the second page I'm working on so the first trend was the palm hats and so this week I shot looks for my blog and for everything on the palm hats anyway and so hey Aja are you in the shower okay but we are running water like 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 we're paying for it I don't care don't run the water till you ready to be in the bathroom go ahead y'all wasting water and electric like I'm not doing all of this running the water for 20 minutes before we get in the shower so anyway um so like that is all that is like step one so i also have not created like a logo for the lookbook just yet so tomorrow or probably tonight i'm going to sit up and create a logo after i edit the vlog from two days ago i'm going to edit um i'm not going to edit this one until the morning but i want to make sure that i have a vlog that goes up tomorrow at nine and then i'm behind so i need one that goes up at four um, but so I'm going to sit here and edit a little bit, but just in trying to get one trend done, there are 15 that I wanted to do It's already a task all in itself. So I'm a little overwhelmed. It's just me. I don't have an assistant right now until I can afford one. I, ref I can't even play. I can't even get one until, um, I can't even get one until after I've done renovations. Like I'm just going to have to thug this out. Because only money I can do is put money into a photographer right now. Like, that's it. So, very, very, very. Um, most of these vlogs are going to look like working vlogs. I love having fun and working, like, my butt off. So, anyway. That is where I am with it. Um, and so, for as up and down as the vlog was, that was what I concentrated on the most. Um, was doing the lives to make sure, of course, that one business is moving. Introducing it, trying to introduce the the other stream, which is doing the Instagram live and just staying aware. Because the thing is, you still have to record and put stuff out there, even though no one's watching or a very small amount of people are watching, until it starts to pick up. So once it starts to pick up, then people go back and watch all of your stuff. So that is where we are. I just want to say goodnight. I'm only going to sit here and work. I'm going to edit two videos. I'm going to work on a logo and I'm going to put together one of the trend reports, which is one out of, I think there's... 15 or like 18 but there are several of them and then I have to sit down and map out my video ideas so all in a day all in a day and then I'm gonna re hit repeat tomorrow except for tomorrow I'm gonna shoot three looks um, I'm gonna do three blog looks if the wind is not crazy the wind was so crazy today but the wind I'm gonna get up tomorrow morning and I'm gonna shoot three blog looks three blog looks to get them done out and out my way so yeah, another day in a life. Another day in a life. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching the vlog. Please make sure you subscribe. Oh, and turn on your notifications so you can see. Make sure you subscribe to both my channels. So Life With Her, the first video will be up tomorrow because it's Friday. So I'm going to upload videos on Friday on that channel. So look for videos on Friday. Um, so hopefully you guys go over and um, subscribe to that channel as well. So I will see you guys. Good night. Bye.